Well, leave it to the WBC to confuse you once again and make me out to be the genius I am. <laughs> well, everyone saw this coming. The fans weren't fooled. Uh, the WBC just basically come out and said that the news is there is no news. <laughs> uh, the the thing we put down saying that the winner of this fight fights Triple G next. We was just kidding. <laughs> it's the next after this next. <laughs> they all get the fight a bomb and try to build the fight up. So that way, we'll make money off that fight, and then in September, we'll try to make the good fight, the Golovkin fight. And neither side has sat down to make an agreement on the fight. There have been no negotiations for a Golovkin fight. Only thing this is, is the WBC making a ruling to escape the nonsense that they've been pushing over the public about a resolution to trying to make the fight happen because the timetable wasn't good for them to come right back in May to negotiate a fight like that when people haven't even come to an agreement as far as what weight they're going to fight at. Two. Oscar De La Hoya isn't thrilled. With going right into that fight. He wants to try to at least. Capitalize some more of Canelo. At least one more fight. And what better way to do it. Put on a May 7 pay per view fight against the likes of a. Uh, well, they gotta see what Pacquiao's gonna do, but it looks like. Oh, 140 or 147 fighter in Tim Bradley versus Canelo. which I will not be attending. Your boy is going to bed. Good night.